Like everyone else in quarantine right now, I'm looking to do something a little crazy for my friends on TikTok. So here's the plan. I'm trading a bobby pin up until I get a house. If you think I'm crazy, in 2006, someone traded a red paper clip up until they got a house. So let's do it. Right now I'm posting on Craigslist, eBay, Facebook, you name it. Consider dropping a follow and watch me trade my way all the way to a house. So I started with this paper clip and earlier traded it for a pair of earrings to a girl on Facebook. Then traded those earrings for four margarita glasses. Pretty nice ones too, honestly. Throw me a follow and watch me trade my way all the way to a house. My most recent video, I traded the bobby pin for a pair of earrings and those earrings for a set of margarita glasses. This afternoon, I found a girl on Facebook who wanted the margarita glasses, so I traded those for a Bissell vacuum cleaner. Throw me a follow and watch me continue to trade my way all the way to a house. Can't wait. In my last trade, I traded margarita glasses for a Bissell vacuum. After I got the vacuum, I cleaned up a few things before trading it again, like replacing a screw that was missing and using nail polish remover to get any scuffs off the sides of the vacuum. Once it was cleaned up, I looked through over a thousand trades until I found the right one, all while gaining over a million followers. After picking the perfect trade, I drove 30 minutes and met a guy in a parking lot to trade the vacuum for this really nice snowboard. In just four trades, I've gone from a bobby pin to a snowboard. Drop me a follow and watch me go all the way to a house. If you've been following along, I'm now on the fifth trade in my journey to trade a bobby pin for a house. Most recently, I traded a Bissell vacuum for a snowboard. This time, I read through hundreds of DMs on Instagram, but ended up finding my trade pretty quickly on Facebook. Once I confirmed the trade was good to go, I wiped down all the rust from the board and I filed the sides to really clean up those edges. This trade specifically was one of my most valuable thus far. The snowboard was valued at around $95 and the new item was valued at more than double at around 200, giving me a barely used Apple TV 4K. Drop me a follow and watch me go all the way to a house. I'm trading a single bobby pin until I get a house. For all of you that have already been following along, I'm going to cut straight to the chase and get to what everyone wants, the trades. And yes, there are multiple trades in this video. Last time, I traded a snowboard for this Apple TV. And as of this week, I've made my two biggest trades yet. Trading the Apple TV for a pair of Bose noise-canceling wireless headphones. And if you think that's big, keep watching. After getting the headphones, I then traded those headphones for a new Xbox One with two controllers, two games, and a Kinect sensor bar. These trades are just getting crazier and crazier. Throw me a follow and keep watching till I get the house. Just two weeks ago, I started my quest to trade a single bobby pin for a house. So far, I've made six trades to get myself an Xbox One, but I'm not stopping there. After finding this guy, who really wanted the Xbox, I traded him in the parking lot of a Safeway for, I'm not kidding you, a MacBook Pro. I've got some pretty wild offers coming up, so shoot me a follow and let's get this house. Over the last three weeks, I've been trading a bobby pin until I get a house. If you want to catch up, check out my last few videos. This week's trade was the first one that I shipped through the mail. So as soon as the package arrived, I shot this video so that you guys could see the live unboxing. Here's what I got. Little note, Canon camera. It's a battery grip, video light, really nice camera. Nice little camera. I've already got my next trade lined up, so throw me a follow and watch me get to the house. Oh, and special thanks to Catriona for making this trade happen. As many of you know, I'm trading a bobby pin until I get a house. I've been making incredible progress on my trades, up until now. After waiting for over a week for my trade and spending many hours on the phone looking for it, UPS let me know they had officially lost the package. I spent days trying to figure out what to do and almost gave up hope until I got a message that my package was mysteriously on a truck headed to me. So after much waiting, it has arrived. Oh yeah. 
These off-white Nike blazers are in great condition and worth $850. I even scanned them to make sure they were real. These last 10 days have been the worst, but now I'm so ready to get that house. Thanks to everyone for being patient and to Scott Grove for the trade. Let's do it. Since last month, I've been on a journey to trade a single bobby pin until I get a brand new house. If you're confused, keep watching. Last trade, I traded a camera for these Nike blazers. So when I found someone, I headed over. I traded for even better shoes with this guy. Off-white Hyperdunks. But I didn't stop there. The Hyperdunks then got traded again. For Jordan 1 shattered backboards. So I just traded for these Air Jordans. The shoes look incredible. I'm really pumped. I'm ready for the next trade. I'm definitely looking to get out of the sneaker game after three trades in a row, but I think I've lined up something pretty amazing. Shout out to Johnny at the Works SF and Ty and Dion at TND Sneakers for the trade. I'm trading a single bobby pin until I get a house. Not all at once, but with each trade, I'm getting closer. If you haven't seen my last video, I've traded up to an iPhone 11 Pro Max. After being trapped in the sneaker game for three trades in a row, I knew I had to get out. This trade specifically was unlike any other. After talking with a ton of people, I finally met Joseph. He offered me a bunch of items in order to trade for the sneakers, but nothing really made sense. So I gave him a short list of items that I would totally trade for if he had them. Joseph actually went out and got one of the items from the list just so he could trade for the sneakers. We then met up and made the exchange. This iPhone 11 feels like a huge checkpoint for me. Throw me a follow on TikTok and Instagram and watch me get this house. I'm trading a single bobby pin for a house. My latest trade has been on its way from Minnesota to San Francisco. After patiently waiting while they drove cross country, it finally arrived. I traded the iPhone 11 Pro Max and got the keys to a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. Got it! While it seemed great to start, I quickly realized there were lots of issues. I even crawled under the car to see some myself. I am underneath the car, so the leak is red fluid. I had many people interested, but after they took a closer look, they would decide not to trade. While this car might look good on the outside, there are a ton of issues with this car. Someone said the muffler. We can see that there's a leak. The steering wheel, when we try and move it, barely moves now. I'm struggling to find a trade because this is not just a car that's gonna run and have somebody just be able to pick it up right away. I'm really trying to figure out what to do with this car, given that I can't even drive it, but I'm not giving up. Throw me a follow and let's get this house. May, I've been on a quest to trade a single bobby pin for a house. In my last trade, I traded an iPhone 11 Pro Max for a 2008 Dodge Grand Caravan. Nora and Chu were wonderful. They documented their entire journey as they drove from Minnesota to San Francisco in two different cars. They drove all through the night and made it just in time to interview with me on ABC News and also to walk me through the ins and outs of the car. Even with the leak, I was really excited about the trade. It added to the excitement and the challenge. What made it even more challenging is that I don't have a parking permit to park in the city, so I only had three days before they would tow the car. I finally found a guy who was interested in the van and also had a friend who was a mechanic that could fix it for him after he traded me. By this time, I only had one day before the city would tow the car, so I knew I had to make the trade. I traded the van for a brand new booster board, the V3 Plus, the latest version. Typically when I post these videos, I'm already a step ahead, so I've traded the item you guys are seeing. But this time, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to trade with one of my followers. So DM me on Instagram if you're interested in the board and let's get this house. Trading a bobby pin for a house. My most asked question has always been about my first trade, the bobby pin for the earrings. So I decided to give Abby a call. Hi! Almost every video, someone is like, who is this person? Do you know her? It almost feels like I have to defend us because people will say, oh, well, she probably traded with a friend. I don't know this girl. Like, I have the receipts to prove it that we, you know, have, we never knew each other. Like, it's a me. Keep it with the cards. You wrote on the back of it. Yep. We're going to frame it when you get to the house. And I haven't, like, mixed it in with my bobby pins. Yeah. My husband tried to. He was like, you want me to, like, throw this upstairs in the bathroom? I'm like, no, not that one. And I saw your post. Let me find something that would be useful to her to trade for the next person. So I, like, have those earrings that I've never worn or never brand new. 
For the rest of the interview, head to YouTube. Oh, and the next trade, it's coming this week. Just trade for a MacBook Pro already? Okay. So let me tell you how it happened. Since May, I've been trading a single bobby pin until I get a house. I got up to a 2008 Dodge minivan, but it had a pretty bad leak. So I traded it for a booster board and then set off again to get something even better. After finding someone who wanted to trade, he packaged it up and shipped it from Oregon to San Francisco. So the package arrived. It's exciting. MacBook Pro 15 inch in the box. Just as expected. This MacBook is much newer than the one I had a few trades ago, and it's still in the box. Shoot me a follow and let's get this house. Hi, I'm Demi. If you haven't been following along, I'm trading a single bobby pin until I get a house. In the last episode, I was trading a 2017 MacBook Pro for something huge. Now, for the reveal. This $4,000 electric bike food cart was an amazing trade. It's fully electric and it's perfect for a small business owner looking to sell on the go. See you guys later. While I was at the warehouse, I even got a tour of all the other bikes for Le Carries. Once I got the bike loaded up, I headed to the beach to try it out before heading home. This trade, worth around $4,000, is getting me so much closer to the house. Shoot me a message on Instagram if you want to trade, and let's get this house. Oh, and the winner of the MacBook giveaway, with tons of likes and a great story, is Lindsay and Troy. Congrats. Three months ago, I started my quest to trade a single bobby pin until I get a house. How do I do it? With each of these trades, I'm increasing in value just a little bit. Most recently, I traded a MacBook Pro for an electric bike food cart. After finding someone in North Carolina who was interested, hey, okay. amazing. I packed up the bike and shipped it across the country, trading it for a 2006 Mini Cooper convertible. In just three months, I've gone from a bobby pin to a $6,500 car. Make sure to like and follow to see what I trade for next, and let's get this house. Trading a single bobby pin until I get to a house. If you haven't been following along, check out the last 18 trades and get caught up, because this one is huge. In my last trade, I traded an electric bike food cart for a Mini Cooper convertible. After looking for quite some time for the perfect trade, I finally found Corbin, but she was four hours away from where the car was. So I called in the Trade Me Project family to see if anyone could help me drive the car halfway. And then I found Madison. Here's where the plan gets crazy. Madison would drive three hours from Charlotte to Wilmington, pick up the car from my friend Christina where it's been for the last week and a half, then drive to Rocky Mount, North Carolina to meet Corbin where she had driven from Richmond, Virginia to Rocky Mount. After a long day of driving, Madison successfully got the car to Corbin and had her sign the title. So it's officially hers. Now for my end of the trade. This is the most valuable item I have had thus far. It's currently in the mail. So the second it gets here, I'll make a new video. Special thanks to everybody who helped out today and let's get this house. Hi, I'm Demi. In May, I started my quest to trade a single bobby pin until I get a house. Last trade, I had a Mini Cooper convertible, and today, I got the trade for it in the mail. All right, so the package just got here. I could not be more excited to open it, so let's do it. It is a diamond and sapphire necklace worth According to a jeweler, $19,500. Insane. This necklace has one giant sapphire and 127 individual diamonds, adding up to 7.38 carats. This is definitely gonna be my hardest trade yet, so let's blow this video up, and more importantly, let's get this house. Since May, I've been trading a single bobby pin until I get to a house, but in my last trade, I made a serious mistake. I traded a Mini Cooper convertible for what I thought was a $19,500 necklace, but in reality, after trying to trade it, I realized it wasn't what I thought at all. This guy had to back out after the jeweler told us the difference between the appraised price and the real retail value. It ended up not being the price that we were hoping to get. I then went to tons of jewelry stores to have them look at the piece a little bit closer and let me know what the retail value actually was. All of them, after going to about 10, said it was about $2,500. So I spent the last two weeks looking for a trade around something in that value and finally found Sam. So I traded him the necklace for a brand new Peloton V3. After getting it in the car and driving it through San Francisco, I finally got it home. So what now? This is definitely not where I thought I was gonna be, but I'm not giving up. My goal is to get this Peloton to Paris Hilton. So like, share, comment, mention her, let's get her attention and let's get this house.
Hi, I'm Demi. I'm trading a single bobby pin up until I get a house. I've made 23 trades, with my most recent trade being a diamond necklace for a Peloton workout bike. After finding a possible trade, it ended up falling through, and I had to start all over again until I found Casey. Since Casey was in Seattle, we got on FaceTime and chatted, and then had my friend Laura pick up the trade. After shipping the Peloton to Seattle, Casey and Laura met up, making the trade for a Ford Mustang GT Deluxe. I'm so excited about this trade. We've had our ups and downs, but we're finally back on top. So what's the game plan? I'm gonna keep the car in Seattle and trade it from there. But if you wanna keep following along, shoot me a follow and let's get this house.